Hello, 大家好 Welcome to TCH Chinese Academy. In this video, we continue our restaurant Chinese about buying the bill. After you have finished enjoying a wonderful meal in the restaurant and you are ready to buy the bill, then how do we express that in Chinese? Okay, first of all, let's look at the key word. That is 买单. So 买单 means to buy the bill. It's exactly the same meaning uh, to buy the bill. 买单. Okay, let's see how do we pronounce these two words. Look at the vowel of this 买. So it's A-I is pronounced I. I, here it is a third tone, so down and rising. My, my, and this dan, look at the vowel, is a n, and it's pronounced exactly like the English word an. So, an, the first tone is flat, keep it flat. So, dan, dan, together, my, dan. My dan faster, my dan normal speed, my dan, my dan. Okay, so this my dan is used everywhere in China. So the people in the south, people in the north, they can they all use my dan to express uh, to buy the bill. And actually, there is another way to express this idea. And it is 结账. So 结账 means to settle account. And this 结账 is more often used by the people in the north. Uh, but still, you know, if you say 结账 in the south, people can still understand. So just remember, we have two ways to express uh, to buy the bill. Now let's look at how to pronounce the first word. And the vowel is IE. It's pronounced ye and with a rising tone. So it's ye. Uh, and the letter J is pronounced ji. So together it is jie. jie. Yes. And this one. The vowel is on uh, a and g. It's like the English o n on on something. So very much like that sound. But here is a falling tone. You got to drop the tone. So on zhang yeah jie zhang. So up and down jie zhang. Can you try with me? One more time. 结账. Faster. 结账. 结账. Okay, so let's see how do we my dan or 结账 in China. What is this? Yes. And uh, this action means 扫. Both in this picture and this picture, the actions are both 扫, 扫. What does 扫 mean? It means to scan, to scan the QR code. You know, in China, uh, nowadays, mobile payment is very popular. Everywhere you just scan the code and get paid. So 扫. Uh, is very important. So there are two ways we scan. And the first one, we can 我扫你. So that means I will scan you. So the um, waiter or the waitress will say, okay, you just show your QR code. I'm, I'm going to scan you. So that is one way. 我扫你. And sometimes you have to scan their code. In this time, you can say, 
你 you scan me 啊，你扫我啊。Uh, both ways are very common. It just depends on where. So you got to know how to do both. So 我扫你，啊，你扫我。And that's the two ways to pay. Okay, now let's move on to the sentence. Can I have the bill, please? How do we say that? So we say, 服务员买单 So 服务员 means waiter or waitress. We do not differentiate that in Chinese. So we simply say, 服务员买单 Is that rude or implied to to wave and call the waiter to come over to buy the bill?、Um, I think it's it's okay, it's acceptable, it's it's not rude, and we do that quite often. Before we wave to the waiter, actually, we try to find you know him or her using our eye contact, and then we say, 服务员买单 And even though we don't use the word "please," we still sounds polite because we use a rising tone. 服务员买单，买单，买单。You know, rising and longer. The 服务员买单 And we can also say, 服务员结账，结账。You put it longer. Yeah, 服务员结账。Yes. So you can use 买单 or 结账 both are okay. So when the waiter or the waitress comes, and we can have the following conversation. Let's guess what does this mean. So the customer, you are the customer. You can start. 你扫我还是我扫你 That means yeah, you scan me or I scan you because there are two ways to pay, and the waiter or the waitress can say, "Okay, 你扫我 Of course, he can also say, "我扫你 depending on the situation. Okay, that is how we make them buy the bill and get paid in China. So don't forget this very useful word "sao" to scan when you make your payments in China. Okay, so much for this video. And if you find it helpful, please like, forward, and subscribe my channel. And also check out my other videos for more authentic and super useful Chinese. Thank you. 谢谢。再见。